We've just spent a week in Malta, where we had a little taste of what we get to enjoy this summer. But for now, we're off to Tunisia to have some exciting upgrades done. You have to stay in a marina in Tunisia, so we're trying to get our month stint out of the way before the hot weather starts. Hence why we left Malta so early and plan to come back and really enjoy what it has to offer when summer finally turns up. Good morning. We are up fairly early, about 6.30. Um, and we had to get the tender up this morning and we're now en route to Tunisia. Um, we lost internet last night and we couldn't figure out a way to reload our sim. So we haven't checked the weather unfortunately since last night, um, but we didn't have heavy conditions anyway, so fingers crossed, if anything, it's just gone lighter than heavier. Um, yeah, should be what, a downwind sail? Yep. Gusting 20 to 25 at the most, and it should take us around 30 hours to get there. Fabo Malta, excited to explore you more soon. We only just left, but the conditions are beautiful so far. We've got 10 knots right behind us. Jason's just setting up the pole so we can sail wing on wing, and then hopefully we'll be good to go. It's also wearing this lucky shirt with the hole in it. And about to bake a loaf of sourdough. This will be my fourth round third with the same recipe so fingers crossed I'm finding it really hard to measure the ingredients properly with a moving boat on the scales um, so yeah it's all a bit of a wild guess at the moment so I'm looking forward to getting in the marina and measuring my ingredients on the dock where it doesn't move and seeing how I go down a tiny bit but we were going like 6.7 or something 6.8 I think we have a bit of a current against us though 5.96 over ground oh that's annoying yeah here's the bread those holes. It's holy delicious. Delish. hard to show you guys what the sea state's like but we've probably got about two meter swells right now it just doesn't look like it on camera but yeah blowing about 20 to 25 behind us we've just rigged in the head sail um, and we're comfortably doing between seven and ten knots i'd say how are you finding it so far <laughs> oh there she is i love downwind sailing Obviously, there's swell gets us every now and then, and it's a little bit like, oh, but I don't feel unsafe, which is nice. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's so much more comfortable downwind than upwind. Okay, bye. Bye. Stay safe, Steph, and we got more hairy out there. It's, uh, it's picked up. It's, we just had a gust of 33 knots. So we've just reefed in the main to a second reef, and the head sail's still at a first, but we might reef that in if it's persistent like this. But it's, um, it's side down a bit again, but still the swell is just immense. I'm not going to be able to get it on camera, but we are getting chucked sideways right now. I'll uh, show you what it sounds like while you're trying to sleep, while you're not on watch shift. Also sideways in the bed. So when the boat sways, I don't roll sideways. So I've kind of got like my feet up against the wall. I'm trying to sleep. This also isn't even bad compared to what it can be like. Um, we're sailing downwind and with swell so we're kind of riding the waves but when we're going upwind sometimes we can be just smashing into the swell so it's a lot harder to try to sleep with that but yeah it's just really hard to get any kind of normal sleep because there's so many noises and you're moving all the time. Things are clanging around out there. And then you're always just like a little bit worried in the back of your mind. Yeah. Anyway, looking forward to getting there tomorrow morning sometime. Bloody delicious. <laughs> Perfect time until the wind's picked up. Picked up or slowed down? Picked up. The swell was definitely the biggest we've experienced so far. Luckily the spacing between each wave was at a decent distance apart and I was very thankful we were sailing downwind and going with the swell. We did have swell coming from two different directions though and we'd get sets every few minutes that would pick up the boat on an awkward angle and push us sideways a little. We got dolphins on our entry into Tunisia. <laughs> Where are ya? We're all over the place, but there's fishing things here, so must be a good hangout spot. There they are. <laughs> it's quite hard to see them in this water. It's really dark. Ah, uh, just beard. We're just about to arrive in Monastir. Um, so. We noticed two of our battens were starting to come out of the main, which has never happened before. It's really weird that both of them are doing it at once. Um, anyway, one was like halfway out, one was part of the way out. So we decided to try and lower the sail as we were getting it down. Um, and we're gonna push them back in anyway. The sail was flapping around so much because it's fairly windy. Um, when you turn up into the wind, it was blowing like I think around 22 knots and big swell. So, um, yeah, the sail was flapping a lot and it literally just, they came loose and they fell straight into the water and there was nothing we could do about it. Jason was screaming at me, 
um, but I'm trying to steer. I couldn't hear what he was saying because he was in a bit of a panic. And then I saw one drop into the water and it was just gone like that. So, so yeah, hopefully they're not too expensive. Now we're up for two mainsail battens. So, uh, plus we've got another hole. So we'll either have to patch that or hopefully it's cheap. Then we can just get it all repaired here. Um, yeah, just another thing to add to the job list. So, yeah, but it's like six in the morning or something here. They're an hour behind Malta. Um, so we've gained an hour. Um, we've heard that pretty much no one opens till like 10 o'clock, even the Coast Guards um, and the Customs Dock. So we'll just head in and tie off and I guess clean up in here a little bit, maybe have a nap, and then we'll do our check-in procedures at 10 o'clock. So wish us luck. This will be the first place where they come on, they board your boat, they check whatever they want in the boat, they confiscate your drone. So sorry, no drone shots of Tunisia. Um, and I think they ask for a bribe. So we got chocolate to give them. Um, I really didn't want to give them alcohol or money. I just think, I don't know, I just don't like, don't like the whole idea of it anyway. But at the end of the day, I would rather give them something and then just leave, leave us alone a lot quicker. We've got nothing to hide, but it just feels like a bit of an invasion of your privacy going through your home and going through all your cupboards and all of that. And we're bloody tired. We just want to get in the marina, have a nap and feel normal. So fingers crossed. Might be one over this side for now and then swap it over. Fell, need to go to sleep. And we're next to our friends. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Feels so good to be in the marina, showered, I'm about to have breakfast. And then we can just get stuff done that we need to get done today and feel a bit more normal again, and hey? Just fall asleep for like four or five hours. <laughs> have just a nap. Be, just to become normal. We can get our laundry done here. I don't think you can do it yourself, so. We have to get it done with like a laundry service, but it's only five euros per load and it's washed, dried, folded. So we've got three loads of washing to do, clean the boat up, do a bit of editing, and then we can get into sorting out our bimini. Bimini stainless. and our stainless and see how we go with that. And then hopefully some fun. Salad? Salad to the <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Say we. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Good morning. We're spending our first full day in Tunisia. Um, just trying to sort our life out really. Going to get SIM cards, um, check out the markets. Um, we've got a guy coming at three o'clock today to measure our bimini arch so we can get some new stainless for that. Um, we're just trying to change the design so it's a little bit better for our new canvas work. And then on Sunday, we've got our canvas guy coming to measure up for our canvas. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we are getting the sail bag, the spray hood, the bimini, the cockpit cushions and the smaller pieces like line bag rope bags and stuff like that so um yeah so hopefully he can just get started on the rest of the work and then come back um to measure up the bimini when it's all finished and then do that so we'll be here for a month so it doesn't matter if it takes up to a month but hopefully it's done sooner and then that way we can leave if we want to so how good's this we're next to our neighbors our buddies Nehru. We parked up next to these guys so we can have sundowners every afternoon. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they got Starlink too, so we're using that for free. <laughs> Unlimited internet. So our episodes are brought to you by Nairo. Jason's just in there. Uh, 
stealing Nehru's Wabasto parts to try and fix our Wabasto that we never fixed. So we'll see if it works. And we've had the stainless guy come and uh, chat to us, do a bit of a measure up. We're waiting for the canvas guy to come on Sunday. And we've gone through all the lockers back here, cleared them out today. I've gone through the nav table and neaten that up. So the nav table's all looking nice and neat. And we've taken our laundry in. Um, we've sorted out the cabin. So there's pretty much like nothing left in the garage now. We managed to fit the scooters in one of the back lockers outside. This one's still a bit of a mess because we've got the outboard in there while we're in the marina. So that's going to stay there the whole time. Um, the tender seat, the, sol the soft solar panels that we will install once the canvas is done. So yeah, we can't really do anything in that cabin at the moment. But um, yeah, it's really nice to be in the marina and just like sort our lives out a little bit because we didn't have t a lot of time to do this in the boatyard. Um, we had so many other jobs, you know, that were prioritised because we were on the dry dock. Um, so yeah. It'll be good. So I think once we leave here, we'll be feeling very ready to just relax and enjoy the season and hopefully not have any boat jobs to do. So time for a drink. <laughs> I love their football. So they've just won their soccer game. Oh, everyone's gone nuts. It's a different world here. <laughs> what you doing in there, honey? I'm just trying to fix the uh, windless. Chain count. Ooh. Oh, I was trying to. What's wrong with it? Oh, it just doesn't work. Oh. The, up, the up works, but the down doesn't. Oh. So I'm just, we didn't, we don't really need it, the up. We can't um, bring it up from the back anyway because the chain gets caught. So I just, oh, yeah. this, I just, I'd rather the down to work. Also, guess what? We have a working Wabasto. <laughs> we were lucky enough, our friends had a Wabasto they were chucking out, so we grabbed the fan out of theirs. There we go. That works. Oh, look at that. But I've got to change the switches over so the chain counter reads properly. I went to scope out the Monacea Markets, which runs every day except Mondays. The meat section was a little confronting, and of course, not being a fish lover, I was not a big fan of the fish market. But the produce area looked fresh and extremely cheap, so I was excited to be shopping here for the next four weeks. Hello. What you doing? So I've just been to the markets this morning um, with Danielle and James from Nehru, and there's so many cats around, so many little kittens. Um, there was one when we got back in the marina that was pretty keen to come with us. Um, it was really unwell looking like it had lots of yucky fur um it was all funny around its nose and it actually had a worm coming out of its bum so yeah not too healthy looking anyway i'm gonna try and see if i can go find it and give it a one spot treatment danielle's gonna come with me so yeah hopefully we find the little kitty sadly we couldn't find the kitten again but join us next week for loads of kitten content and our boat upgrades begin if you like our videos, make sure you like, comment and all that good stuff. It really helps us out. And if you really like us, consider becoming a patron. We couldn't do it without you. You guys are the real MVPs.